I'm Julia Elliott, and I lead Kaggle's competitions team. I'm speaking today about using TensorFlow 2 on Kaggle. This is based on work led by Phil Culleton. So what's Kaggle? Kaggle is a data science platform. Over 4 million data scientists from all over the world come to Kaggle to participate in machine learning competitions, practice data science, build portfolios, and share data sets and code. It's an incredibly exciting place. My job at Kaggle is to run machine learning competitions. They run the gamut. Right now, we have 17 running, including deepfake detection in videos, image classification, an abstraction and reasoning challenge by Francois Cholet. If you haven't seen his paper entitled The Measure of Intelligence, it's really amazing, you should check it out. An NLP challenge, and a bot building simulation competition. Basically, if you're interested in data or machine learning, we'll likely have a competition that'll excite you. TensorFlow is really heavily used in our competitions. It's actually currently being used in all 17 of them. But in the past few months, we've run two TensorFlow specific competitions, a question answering NLP competition that Sandeep mentioned earlier, built around the launch of TensorFlow 2, and a new competition for image classification that introduces TPUs to our platform. We have tens of thousands of people using TensorFlow 2.1 right now to solve problems. Three of the top solutions for the question answering competition actually use TensorFlow and TPUs. If you'd like to check out TensorFlow 2.1, especially with a GPU or TPU, Kaggle makes it super easy. You can see from the list on this slide that we've eliminated a lot of the obstacles to making TensorFlow 2.1 build your models fast, and with next to no specialized code. No provisioning the right kind of VM, no setup, data sets that are ready to go, and a weekly amount of TPU, GPU time allotted to, to, to users for no cost. We'll look at some code right now that'll build a model on Kaggle for a competition to classify flowers on CPU, GPU, and TPU with no changes. So we start off simple, import TensorFlow and the Kaggle datasets library. The rest of the code here does a little bit of magic. It figures out what kind of accelerator is attached to your VM and automatically parallelizes your model building. This will return an appropriate strategy, whether you're using a V3 TPU or a simple CPU VM. So basically, this code asks for a TPU. If it gets one, it connects it. If it doesn't, it sets that up as well. The rest of the code is entirely accelerator agnostic. So normally, outside of Kaggle and Colab, you need to provision this TPU for usage. But on our platform, it's not necessary. Just select the TPU in the dropdown and go. Now, we'll load up our competition data set. It's provided in a sharded TF record format for fast loading. We set some parameters for our training and validation sets, shuffling our training set, batching them for optimal performance, setting our training set to repeat so it'll loop around for each epoch. And in the end, we have a nice out of memory data sets ready to run in our accelerator of choice. This code does some real work. Here, we load up uh, a VGG16 for some transfer learning, compile our model, and start training and validating. We're using a standard distribution strategy that was made possible by that previous code that automated the strategy based on the accelerator used. Note the with strategy.scope block. That's basically saying, hey, whichever type of parallelization you're doing here, this is the process that parallelized. Now, our model will be built and trained on the accelerator. Making some flower predictions is really easy after this. We load up our test set, run model.predict, and write our predictions out in a format that Kaggle can read. With a few tweaks and a few more epochs, it can actually score pretty well. I'll finish off this code section with some of the fun flowers that our, pro uh, our model made predictions on. You can see that some are right, they have the little okay above them, and some are wrong. If you're interested, you're more than welcome to drop by and beat this model. It's not hard, and it's super fun. If you're interested in seeing TensorFlow 2.1 at work on Kaggle, come check it out. Try out the code I just showed you, compete in the flower competition, or Try it out with a data set of your choice on our hosted notebook platform. In the next coming months, we'll be launching even more competitions where you can leverage the power of TensorFlow and TPUs. This is a huge group undertaking, and a special thanks to Martin Gorner, the DevRel PM who led the effort to integrate TPUs. 
It's pretty awesome to see how easy it is to use TensorFlow 2.1 on Kaggle now. Thank you so much. Um.